let me be clear here. This dress is an example that we have so much reasons to keep it, but we don't have reasons to use it. Okay, it's like you bought something and it wasn't a good purchase. It was maybe a good deal, but you're just not using it. It's like a trick. They trapped you in that idea that it's a great deal marketing and then you buy it more and more and more and you're feeding yourself with this illusion that it's a good deal but hold your garage in that useless stuff and what we're trying to do we're keeping it because throw it away seems like a failure for us and we don't want to feel we want to extend it we want to like put it in the box and forget like failure isn't exist but <laughs> better to like face your failure you know and learn that damn even though this dress was a good deal it's still hanging here and stealing my space and energy because every day it's like that drawer where you have a mess inside and you can't find anything there so what this drawer becoming a useless drawer because your drawer is supposed to store things organized because otherwise you can't find anything and you can't use it and you go literally and buy things that you just can't find because your drawer is a mess and 50% minimum of this drawer can't go go away i'm very excited to open this box i tried to find this limited edition piece for so long this was from 2000 19 collaboration ikea with virgil abloh that best known as a ceo of the brand off white and artistic director designer of menswear of louis vuitton i love 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 ikea and i really like how virgil abloh made a big change in fashion unfortunately he died two years ago but he really made this big influence how you know luxury brands now more friendly to uh, young culture i guess so this collection was a limited edition and i tried hard to find this bag basically it's a, just a shopping bag but it's so much more bye bye plastic bags support sustainability and this particular bag it just fits my taste and i love this aesthetic like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> don't do it baby what do we have here is a uh, shine like in a commercial look nice sign that hair is healthy right yep but you never know the end unpredictable now i'm gonna do some volume yeah but how i'm doing volume it's like my top secret i'm not gonna tell until somebody really ask me so if you could i'm going with my to a soccer Now we're gonna do a makeup. My skin is not in the best condition. I drink in antibiotics and I feel that they are affecting what my makeup including. <laughs> not much, but it's also not like average girl in the grocery store, okay? Just after I took a shower, I using this SPF serum because it's important, okay? 
even if you sit at home actually it's important to take care of your skin because sun you know from the windows you know why ultraviolet light is not a joke and we damaging skin it's aging faster and i know how people like oh sometimes i'm using sunscreen like in the summer sometimes don't you have to use it daily every single day even if you sit at home for real another thing that i'm using is this cream uh, one of my moisturizers one of my day cream but i like this the most this is how i look yes this is how i look what i usually start with i begin with mascara because you know we all the time gonna mess it up look at this big thing i put alarm 15 minutes and then let's do it in 15 minutes let's let's try Next thing I do is use a eyeliner under the lashes so it kind of just helps me to make an eye more framed in the black eyeliner I guess. This is where disaster happens. And then what I do, what I do, then I do eyeshadows. Let's do these eyeshadows that I just bought recently and I really like because it's glittery but it also has that taupe color and it's right away. See, wipe, you remove stuff, but it's okay. I don't view the glitter and all this sparkliness as a special occasion thing. I'm comfortable with it every day. Like just go in the grocery store. I don't feel too much or something. So I will finish eyeshadow and fix them after I do a foundation. I'm a brush girl. This is what I use. And my color is number four right now. <laughs> Usually it's my color. Look. Chick, 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 chick. So for me, this foundation is perfect. I use it already years. We have seven minutes left. Can we do it? Can we do it? <laughs> so what I need, I need some white right here to make eye a little fresher <laughs> oh my god golden glitter golden glitter another brush and well this is a sign you have a toddler and she definitely destroyed my whatever it's called but you kind of add in a little bit structure Oh my god, I did something wrong. In here. Well, never mind. Let's do a lips. I like sometimes to use just pencil and spread it on the lip because this pencil kind of match almost perfectly my lip color. This is like a setup powder, just for extra perfection, I guess. It's working well for marrying everything. This is pretty much uh, two minutes left, as you can see, out of 15 minutes. And I also talked, right, and did it on camera, so I would say that I can easily do it in 10 minutes right now still uh, we can add some new lip 
glow to just make lips not that dry, you know. If you think that makeup takes a long time, well, 15 minutes you can literally like drink coffee in 15 minutes, right? So we still have one minute left. I'm gonna stop the timer because I'm done. So right now we're gonna go to the closet. I have strong desire to reorganize every single drawer in the house. So every single storage drawer box, I just wanna throw away extra stuff, donate or sell because it's like stealing the energy. Even though we have a big house with a pretty big space in the garage for storage and the storage room with all these uh, organizers, shelves and boxes, still I feel that sometimes we're like out of space, you know, because many things arrive and many things we like have from the past. Well, me and my husband have different personalities about it. I like to throw away stuff, he likes to keep them. It's kind of two extremes and we're trying to balance because of course you don't have to throw away things if you really uh, can find a healthy use of it. But sometimes I can say that 60% of stuff that we have, they could just go. We don't have to store them all the time. Doing rearrangements, I still feel that right here, <laughs> there is a room to grow. So right here, I have a closet, well, probably my like favorite pieces most of the things that i use like daily but my goal is to just get rid of 30 percent for now 30 percent i feel taking energy uh like taking space and i never use it like like this what is this it's not me it should go. This just should go. What I usually like actually is to put bars of soap. This smells actually really works well. When I'm washing myself with these bars, they disappear in like 10 times and that's it. They're gone. It's too fast. So what I'm saying, you know this kind of sachet that you usually buy? This is useless. Bar of soap is what you need if you want to keep clothes, smells nice. But you also have to have uh, drawers that not smells. And um, sometimes, no matter how you're going to wash your 20 years old t-shirt, <laughs> it's old and it should go. Should go. This is useless. I don't know. Done. Bye. Let's go closer and I'll show you the drawer, right? I have a soap, so skirts, pants, and right there, it's my style, I like kind of festive, like I'm on the stage. I have them here, it's kind of staging, right, but I also use it, all of it I need, really. Here the drawer is winter stuff, like season stuff, that are definitely not necessary for me like every day these boxes usually store in something like accessories backpacks for also rare use but i like how <laughs> this box is actually balancing this cold gray and i also have this kind of industrial rug and i like this decision actually about the closet because that walk-in closet right in the bedroom as you can see it's very awkward entrance with this stupid wall <laughs> and it's not big but i'll show you right now what was here before and it was not something pleasant and this placement actually quite successful for daily use also you see like a soap bar of soap always boom done i found a very very old thing bam when you want to have a chandelier in the closet in the tiny closet so it's very old but it's a, such a rare piece 
It's actually matching my t-shirt right now. It's a kind of taupe. Look at this. It's a basically a rainy jacket for summer. I have to fix a sleeve because it's like broken for decade broken. But I remember I bought it in Moscow. It has a pretty cute back. Look at this. You see? It's very cute. So, this kind of stuff, I don't want to throw away. I will fix myself because, well, I know how to sew and I have a sewing machine. Now I will put it in the box to fix stuff. Yeah, we now organizing everything. Zara box is going to be for stuff to fix. And I have another thing that I want to fix. I want to try to fix it. What I want to try to do or hide it like that and sew it like that or i wanna completely cut it but we have a zipper here attached and zipper is pretty decent and i have to like think oh i sacrifice in zipper or i'm you know just do what I need to do. I'm not good at zippers. So we put it in the box to fix. Even though I did all this re-inventory so many times, I still found so many things to get rid of each time. It's not easy to let it go. But at the same time, I'm an experienced let it goer. <laughs> yeah. the best situation here i have everything everywhere everything everywhere and you know what reorganization is like one thing then i should photograph every single thing upload it to that selling platform it's a hell out of work so look this is what i wanted to have like not clothes stuffed you know like peppers this is not to store stuff, this is to use them. But this is the whole point of this reorganization. Better to have less, but use all of it and have that easy access to stuff. So I see, oh, I have this, this and that. Instead of it's stuff like this and I can't find anything, I can't see anything. Well, what we do? Since I'm not taking much, I have my guilty pleasure once a day. It's a, it's a mushroom coffee. I have a 50 minutes solid because at like six I'm gonna go pick up Sophie. So I have three types of meat. I have a ribeye steak, beef, I have a lamb, shoulder, chops, and so chicken. And because chicken expired so fast, like in two days, I'm gonna cook chicken, but I also gonna cook lamb. Yeah, just for you know, in a little bit in advance, because maybe my husband will prefer uh, lamb today, because he's not a fan of chicken overall. So chicken we're gonna bake, and lamb chops I'm gonna make like a kind of steaky. We always say we are what we eat. I care where this food from. Yeah, I gave him a ride home because... Right. And the ginger. We're dating. 
with the soy sauce for the ginger. What we do next, we do veggies. I have this Russian noodle that I really like. And then we have a salt. And of course, what we need to do is to each piece just have to be in that oil for taste. I definitely gonna use a lemon. Chip, 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 chip. But chicken and veggies gonna go to the oven when we leave. So basically 17 minutes is the preparation and it's gonna be in the oven for well chicken 50 minutes and veggies like 30. My father's birthday today. Attracted, magnetic and irreplaceable Picture perfect, photogenic, douse the minutes Yes, I'm finished, acting like nobody on my back Though you told me that I'm gonna keep you steady on your path So I'm known and now you down Keeping it simple around you I can't believe that I found you You were the piece of missing No reason for living You're picking me up from the ground Oh, I'm thankful that you're mine I'm so blessed you're by my side Yeah, yeah You know, it's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels because this weather feels like it's winter. I'm wearing basically nothing because I'm just jumping from the garage to the school parking and then back into garage, but it's really easy to, you know, get sick and I'm sick already for a week. At that point that I've been drinking antibiotics because just I even couldn't recover my sore throat just killed my happiness and now I still feel pretty shitty and I'm blaming the weather for that. Пойдем, не надо ее мучить, Софи. Ты так ей некомфортно делаешь. Не надо тут на нее сунь. Она и так в клетке. Baby Софи. Who am I that I would push back? Is that the loving thing you made a bed for me to lie You know, I'm trying. See, good men, they never look back. And that's a salty sting You paved the road for me to walk on Yet I'm not gone I'm combing through the clover for a foe leaf Check my pockets over and over Hoping you'll be calling for me I would take a maybe or a show me Check my pockets over and over and over It's like I told you Living, living in my head And making a heart 
stay here for longer But she knows I got she to go knows I got She's to go. the kind of lover that my soul needs Daylight's getting lower, lower and lower Wish I could show you, baby, not one thing that you said Every single day look like this. In the evening I'm staying in the kitchen to put everything in the washing machine, clean it, and well, this is not it. Of course I have this mess and in this room it's not much mess, but upstairs <laughs> there is gonna be a mess. There upstairs is a hell. What a pretty thing, huh? Now it's important for her leave it like that. Somebody already bought my jeans and I need to put them in the bag. I already printed the label. I just need to glue it here and drop it off in the post office. <laughs> Driving to the post office <laughs> eight minutes before they close. I hope I will make it. I just need to drop it off. But the cool thing that weather is actually looks whoopsie. Police. I feel that um, I'm running out of time. Maybe I should wake up earlier. It doesn't ever match with my biorhythms. I'm not an early bird I really 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 like to live more like hmm yeah I need to live uh, at night even my daughter Sophie she <laughs> wakes up at 10 easy breezy she goes to the bed like 11 30 easy breezy of course at some point tried to keep a schedule you know Put yourself in that frames uh, like classical upbringing where you like sleep eat and play in the same time every single day but I just thought who needs that why people told to do so because it's easier for parents it's easier for parents to organize that wildness because they are adaptable right and I just guess I didn't need it. For me, it wasn't really necessary. It would be like, what I see is working people who work in like outside the house, they forcing kids to do everything. Maybe for some kids it's fine, but I know that for Sophie, why should I force her? It's not 
necessity you know it's not our lifestyle we are people who like recording music at night we are different than these uh, schedules so why should we bother well now we're driving to the digs digs who who names this digs I want a goodbye gift for Sophie's teacher. He was so helpful and so like truly caring, you know, not just like average teachers do their job, but he was extra care for her and helped her to transition from one class to another. He always was like super, you know, special for her. And I'm so sad that he leaving, uh, moving to another state and I know she gonna miss him and I would like to maybe keep in touch or something <laughs> like buy for him something that he gonna use and remember so I have some ideas that well you know everybody kind of using uh, bottles so I think the good bottle uh, will be a good gift and I hope they have uh, the color and size I've checked on the website so now we're gonna check it out and I also want to buy some maybe a plan for director of the school because she always also super helpful i don't think it's you know um something that they do what just doing their job sometimes they doing something like extra uh we traveling a lot like pretty much three times a year we asking like uh, one and a half months off and we uh, not paying it's our choice to leave right why should we uh, like not pay they like uh, holding our spot and stuff like that but she like say okay notify me a little bit in advance and that's it and i'm really 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 thankful for that because it's, it saves us lots of money you know how much daycare costs right so here is the bottles i like yellows i feel like that he will like yellow so right here actually the how many i think the bottle the bottle would be the best choice maybe like this size because because you know the like huge huge size is like not easy to fit in the backpack plus if you want to do a coffee or like hot drinks and not water <laughs> it's like kind of too much i don't like this stuff it's always spills somewhere so look the bottle has a 18 and 26 and then yeah 40 dollars bottle maybe this one is better actually yeah i played in a little store here so this is the biggest Mm, that I would take this one, this one, this one, and this one. I kind of think in between this and that. And I think that the bigger maybe could be a better for adventures, but this one is kind of for everyday use. They also have a pretty cool selection of different colors. Four. I like how these guys look interesting right design never actually seen it yeah you know what i really like this kind of stuff by this brand i mean this brand is awesome it's so like a dorsey and amazing quality inspiring me to go to the road trip in the car so okay boom 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 i think this one mm. 
yes i took yellow i hope he will like it what should i do right now i probably go to car wash just outside car wash and then i'm gonna go pick up sophie and i have to buy some pies because tomorrow i have to bring to the school some food for teachers ah no let's go to lowe's no let's go to home depot and see if they have monstera and then we go to lowe's i have for this 30 minutes 30 minutes is nuts right you know i always mad at that town because i'm you know urban girl i'm not small town girl i need you know dynamic vibrancy diversity and here is none of it exists none of it exists yet you know what's cool i live in a very good location we have a quiet neighborhood where you like just walk with kids and with dogs you know and everybody knows each other everything 10 minutes away and i can walk to all the stores that i'm just driving right now everything like three minutes away from each other banks post office grocery stores fitness mm, of course if we will go into a quality of this grocery store or fitness it's another conversation but i literally can in 30 minutes right now go into home goods and to Home Depot, and to Lowe's, check out the plants, you know, and I can go to a grocery store, and I can wash the car. I guess it's something to, you know, appreciate. And I think, even though I'm moody moody about the small town but i appreciate that because location is fantastic for that you know quiet living because even like there is not even target anywhere else but right here there is a target tj maxx michael's home goods petco uh, whatever all this shopping stuff that you know we need daily we don't need uh, fancy clothing uh, stuff, right? Every day, but we need this kind of stuff every day. <sighs> this is adorable. <laughs> they have monsters. But it's a tiny for thirty dollars. It's not <laughs> anything quite good. I remember I bought like for that price a huge monster. They just grew so fast and right now it's my favorite ever monster <laughs> and plant in the house. So this is weird, weird deals. Um flowers they are very temporary what else we have they actually have the bird of paradise which is trilizia and i just know that this baby is requires some special treatment really this one also one of my favorite oh how how pretty you are just for nine dollars baby i'm gonna take you and i'm gonna really love you <laughs> these guys is what i have basically from florida well <laughs> this thing is nothing but i'll show you how it grow and you i think will understand why i keep buying them i just seen the teacher <laughs> And he like walked with the bottle like this, but green one. And I'm upset because I already bought for him a bottle. And I thought it's a good gift because it's something useful, you know, and a kind of his style. And now I have to do something else and I had no ideas. up a 
actually in a good mood and I woke up very early for myself but then I fell asleep at almost until 11 yeah I'm not a morning person for your information I can fully live at night I don't know why necessarily people have to wake up early I don't have to wake up early <laughs> I arrived to the pool by the way just first time in a many months and I'm gonna for the first time tada I'm gonna for the first time swim with this thing called buoy or something like this between my tights because this should should be like a support for my hips and I'm not gonna use my legs while I'm swimming this is the thing that helping to train make stronger upper body but it's also for people who has injuries or limitations as I do so it's gonna be like my sport you know plus I love to swim but I just don't know how it will go really like with this how I'm gonna swim my upper body strong enough to swim like that of course it's strong okay I went to orange sea or of course it, of course that stairs that I'm gonna climb right now because there's nothing flat you know I should climb the hell to go to the pool Got the cards. everyone's gone I is on standing tall you breaking my fall take your top off can't keep a clothes on when I'm in rock singing my song you breaking my fall for 30 minutes laps yeah 30 minutes of laps it's a boring I love swimming no truly but it's boring to swim in a swimming pool laps self-discipline you're doing it for health but the health is under the question right now you know I mean nothing complicated about it to swim with this body but my hip hurts right now i'm just gonna buy some food to go hungry to the grocery store never do this but we all all do this right we're not like oh let's have a lunch and go do grocery we do grocery when it's like damn i starve and i'm ready to eat a bear well this is what i usually buy i have some stuff of course from the last trip to the grocery but usually most of the things is a veggies fruits berries it's a protein and some extra stuff like milk cheese and eggs what i like it's beef stuff this is salmon this is my breakfast thing eggs bananas mangoes plums pears radishes radish <laughs> of course i'm in love with raspberry and this is the best tomatoes i mean if you're not growing your own tomatoes in the store if you buy tomatoes to eat like for the salad this one actually tastes how they supposed to taste i like sweet potato and raspberry so i bought a popcorn 
I'm not really in love with popcorn, but I know that it's a low caloric snack that could be, you know, feeling and I'm not gonna feel guilt. This yogurt so loves. I like kombucha, but this one is not the best. Of course, I just buy on this brand because it's low calories and they have um, zero calories kombucha. So, of course, it's a chicken, chicken tights and chicken breasts. I am drinking lactose-free milk. This is for Sophie, just because she likes Paw Patrol and sometimes she asks for some snack cheese. And I love that kind of stuff like kimchi or cabbage and bread, actually. This kind of bread is what I like, but this one, look, it's 80 calories per slice, which is way less than usually. Usually like American bread, even if it's nicely done, look, 140 versus 80, you know. So this is simple sourdough and I buy in it sometimes because it's actually tastes pretty nice when you toast it. So yeah, this is my groceries for today. I'm gonna make mostly uh, just breakfasts, which eggs, fish, bread and avocado. Then protein stuff is for dinner with uh, some like sweet potato or broccoli and other veggies that I still have, so. Washer was never busier that place usually have empty even if it's um, I mean it's just uh, five cars before me it's a lot in the same time it's a sign that spring is here everybody wants to have a clean car I'm in the subway, Okay, you're ready. <laughs> you want to take it outside? No, I'm just. Uh... Look at her. She's great. She's already. Is this the one? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Um. 